sorry, I just got a message from a guy I've been talking to. I've been trying to get back out there. And I downloaded a few apps. Um, Hinge, Bumble, Okay, Cupid, Coffee Meets Bagel. As far as apps go, I heard those were pretty mild. And that's a dick. Oh, well, I don't really know how to respond to this. Okay, sorry, focused. I am focused, I am here, all right. <sighs> Today I wanted to talk about... I'm so sorry, it's just dicks or... Wow. Nope, I'm focused, focusing, focusing. You know what, no, let's talk about dicks. First dicks. Last time was all about first love, so this time can be all about first dicks. That seems right. And if we're gonna be dishing about dicks, then let's pour some wine, ladies. <laughs> so, it is the end of my senior year of high school, and I'm at a friend's graduation party. <sighs> People are making fun of this guy, accusing him of being gay. He swears he's not. And he says that he will make out with a girl right then to prove it. And guess what? I'm that girl. <gasps> oh. But before we can lock lips, he projectile vomits everywhere. Like I shit you not, barfs all over the place. A haiku. You wanted to kiss, but you threw up on the floor. That's disgusting. Dude. next morning he texts me <laughs> we go to Applebee's and we make it halfway through Jerry Maguire before we start making out we end up in a church parking lot to avoid getting caught by my mom You want me to take it out? Mm. 
You like that, baby? You want to suck it? I can't do this. I'd rather do this with somebody I like. I don't like you at all. Oof. Rough. But <coughs> your hero was not disheartened. No. <laughs> I was certain that college was going to be a dick central. I was convinced that I was going to lose my virginity within five minutes of, be of being on campus. Luckily, I never deleted my college blog. So let's see how expectations lined up with reality. I don't have a boyfriend. I'm cute, right? Maybe if I wasn't fat, guys would want to date me. I'm going to start counting calories and working out every day. Okay. I feel like I have no friends. I mean, I know I have friends but there's just this empty feeling growing in the pit of my stomach. I get these really bad panic attacks where I just shake and shake. Maybe it's just stress. College is stressful for everyone, right? Whatever. You're stupid and ugly and you're going to die a virgin. Well. This is it. It's time. That's right. It's time to lose my V card. At a toga party my junior year. Okay, you magnificent bitch. You're about to lose your virginity. This is it. Today, you join the sisterhood of sexually active women here and around the world. You're joining the ranks of your friends and your sister and countless other normal, sexually active women. It's been 21 years in the making, but you finally did it. This is the beginning of the rest of your life. Wow, harrowing shit. Should I have waited? Like this wasn't a mistake, right? I just wanted to get it over with. It's nothing like I had seen in the movies and, and it hurt and there were awkward noises and I definitely didn't know what to say. He kept, talking and asking me dirty questions. He was like, what do you want me to do to you? And I was like, uh, sex? 
Well, I never saw him again, so... Wait, that's not true. I saw him two years later at a Best Buy. He was working there, and I was buying a DVD of the Les Mis movie. So awkward. Mm. <laughs> At this point, dying a virgin doesn't seem like such a bad fate. 